Stop right there. You've committed crimes against Jade Empire and her people. What say you in your defense? Hey, what's up, humans? Welcome back to Jade Empire. This is episode 21. And we finally made it here to the Imperial Palace up here in the clouds. So something's not right. We're going to go confront the Emperor Sun Hai because he has committed crimes against China and her people. What say you in your defense? Stop right there! Hmm. So we have our entire crew. We just talked with all of them right before we left. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what, what becomes of us here as I search for Master Li and, and uh, the Princess Leon searches for her father. That's a weird outfit indeed. So let's go. Well, we got to go over here first. That part of the map was not unlocked. The palace is ancient. Some say it was a celestial gift. It shouldn't be misused. I'm going to kick your jars. You didn't put traps in them. Fuck these jars. Fuck these jars. We got a poll going up on the channel right now. It's in a, a stalemate right now. Uh of the next game I should play in place of Jade Empire. Please be sure to vote. And if you have other suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Oh God. That guy's got two maces. No horse demon form unless of everyone surrounding me. Looks like Princess Leon needs some help. She needs help. We did it. So is everyone going to fight us? Princess? Doesn't seem like you're well liked. I like to go up the middle of the stairs. You guys and your weapons, I haven't even used mine in a long time. Run, indeed. The rounded. Get back here. Fuck your jar. And your urn. Oh, and sorry I didn't kick it. So we have a book stand here. I'm sorry. Was that the expensive piece? <clears throat> so 
The Celestial Order, Volume 2. The Great Dragon loosed chaos upon the world as he had created, separating man from the beasts and laying the foundations for the eventual order that would unite humanity. This glorious Jade Empire. The great animal spirits of the past were cast out from the human communities, and a man was forever separated and elevated above the common beasts. Man was now the guardian of order, imposing his will on nature and shaping it to his desire. But balance must exist in all things. Man was a bastion of order, with chaos in his heart. For as long as the world remains in chaos, man will always war and strive against his fellow man. This is the way of nature, until the great dragon returns to bring the world to order or humanity brings itself above the cycle of nature. This is the way it will always be. Inner peace. I need to read all those. Need to read all those. The Lotus Monks. As far as we know, all copies of the larger text were destroyed, but I shall include a fragment below for your amusement. Protection of our glorious emperor has always been the purpose of the Order of the Lotus. The Lotus Monks are the personal servants and protectors of the Emperor of the Jade Empire, governed by the Hand of Heaven, Sun Kin. They are servants, guards, teachers, doctors, and spiritual advisors. With their simple robes and dyed hands, they are an omnipresent and unpredictable force whose importance is disproportionate to their numbers. Anyone who wishes to Anyone who wishes a presence in the court of the Emperor must, in some way, appease the Lotus Monks. Should someone displease the Emperor or offend the glory of the Empire, the consequences can be dramatic. Fortunately, they watch themselves as well as others, and any who stray are punished accordingly. How quaint! Blood stains the hands much better than dye. Limb. Just trying to do some voices, y'all. A chamber. Is it our this prison is cell? Many spires within the palace where visitors are raised as if by the glory of the Empire. Without a guide, you could be lost here for days. All right, everyone. Take your positions. Who's still here? To the throne room. What do you think we're going to find here? I think your father is going to be just as corrupted as the men in the Lotus Assassins. I think that's what we're going to find when we come here. And maybe that they're trying to do it to, uh, to uh, Sagacious Lee. Try not to damage anything. The Empire has seen enough disgrace. I've been breaking pots all morning. Now you tell me. Who want to go? Who wants to go? Paralyzing palm. Stay right here. Procession. Paralyzing palm. Leaping tiger. You just fell for my trap, didn't you? Oh, what? I can't kick these. Fine. Fine. I can kick these. Fuck your vase. Let's 
Cutscene. I don't want to go in here yet. We are nearly to the throne room. Although my father has let these unseen parts of the palace fall into disrepair, these chambers are the tombs of past leaders. Who is entombed here? We would be here for days, and you likely know the most prominent anyway. Sagacious Tian, the first emperor, founder of the Jade Empire, and builder of the wall. Cormia, the, the swift arrow, defender of the First Age, and commander of the Borderlands during the Horse Lord incursions. Sang-Si, the broken bow, the first woman to rule openly. She changed more in a single valiant battle than many others did with entire campaigns. The latest are the tombs of two men who were greatly mourned. The Emperor's brothers, Prince Sun Li, the glorious strategist, and Prince Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven. Sun Li. Sorry, not sagaciously. Sun Li. Are you certain of this? Have you seen the bodies? Of course not. It's been 20 years since they were entombed. Why would you even ask something like that? Because of why we're here? It doesn't matter. Have you seen inside the tombs yourselves? No, they have been sealed since my father announced that they died. That was just after Death's Hand became his right hand. I'd always thought Death's Hand had a role in their deaths. Now I don't know what to think. We are close to the throne room. The longer we take, the more questions I have. You know, to be fair at this point, <clears throat> I actually wasn't sure if she knew that. Uh, Sun Lee is alive and he is my master. Die, Vase. Let's read. The Righteous Siege. A vague account of the attack on the spirit monks of Dirge that mountains Sun Li and Sun Kin died in the assault. Oh, sorry, mountains. That maintained Sun Li and Sun Kin died in the assault. Despite obvious bias, some, some passages hint at the bloody actions that tormented Sagacious Zhu. Days turned to weeks as denial of the Emperor's authority continued. The gates of the fortress did not yield until cowards within were convinced to turn on their fellows. Victory was at, was inevitable as the tide, but uh, victory was as inevitable as the tide, but loses, uh, but losses were felt. And I'm terrible at reading this. Two brothers were claimed by crimes that remain unspoken, lest the heart of the emperor of the Empire break with the telling. Death's hand rose in their stead. Death's hand rose in their stead to serve while Sun High returned life to the withered hand. Oh my god, I can't read this. <laughs> Days turned to weeks as denial of the Emperor's authority continued. The gates of the fortress did not yield until cowards within were convinced to turn on their fellows. Victory was as inevitable as the tide, but losses were felt. Two brothers were claimed by crimes that remain unspoken, lest the heart of the, imp of the empire break with the telling. Death's hand rose in their stead, to serve while Sun High returned life to the withered land. In the weeks that followed, the price of disloyalty was made clear to those in and out of the Emperor's honored grasp. A difficult time full of changes that not all would accept, but necessary cruelties ensured that no one in the Jade Empire would ever go thirsty again. That was difficult to read. <clears throat> All right, what are we going to be working on this time? We have Storm Dragon. Sort of want to... 
sort of want to try this. White demon form. We have three. I don't know. We just have so many. Definitely can't do anything there. We're going to get to a point where we can't actually uh, level up. So I guess we're done. Can we go in here? No. So we have to go around. Your typical. Paralyzing palm. You guys want to see my white demon form? I didn't map it, so I'm sorry. Hold on. Honestly, I think I'm going to remap Ice Shard and put White Demon in its place. Give it a shot. See what it's like. Why are you two here? to my father's throne room. I doubt he'll take this intrusion kindly, especially not with, with the information we've learned. Now we'll find what has happened to your master and, and the truth of what has been happening in the Empire. I have some words for your father too. I can only hope that my father has been the victim in this. I pray he has the answers I seek. The fate of the Empire depends on it. Friends in high places. Man, we got a lot of reading to do. Twenty years, Lee. I have waited long enough. Atone for your treachery and give me what I require. Look to yourself, brother. You would have done the same. I am the eldest, and therefore the emperor. I have you at a disadvantage, and yet you toy with me. What do you know, glorious strategist? Where is the spirit monk amulet? You will find out soon enough, brother. Father! Child? What are you doing here? I have important matters. And what have you done to yourself? You look like a common street woman. And who is this? You invite filth into the halls of my palace? This is not how the child of the Emperor should act. Don't let 
after me. Master Lee's student brought me evidence from the Lotus Assassin Fortress. You allowed Death's Hand to corrupt the Empire. Master Lee's student. We got some options here, and I always have to say I am Woo, the Lotus Blossom. <laughs> I am Woo, the Lotus Blossom, and you are about to be humbled. I am Woo, the Lotus Blossom, and I will open your eyes to the suffering of your people. I am Woo, the Lotus Blossom. I demand vengeance for the assault on my home. My name is Woo, the Lotus Blossom. I'm here to rescue my master. This child, the very person who tested my Lotus Assassins, brought to my doorstep by my own daughter. Brother Lee, did you plant the seeds for this fool to come here? Layers upon layers, always the glorious strategist. Uh... Then it is true, Master Lee. You are the Emperor's brother. The lost sibling of the beloved Emperor's son, forced to hide at the edge of the Empire, until Death's hand brought him to me. Father, you said your brothers were killed. I don't understand. I don't blame you for your foolishness. What can you possibly know? The Emperor is the manifestation of divine. That is your role as figurehead. How could you betray the people? Your greed has unsettled the whole of the Empire. The dead no longer sleep. My child, remember your place. I have no patience for anyone that challenges my authority. Not even you. Kill the rest. They are unimportant. No! <laughs> Are you dead? In my youth, I ruled dutifully. But nature does not respect titles. Withering drought, not battle, threatened to take my throne. But I would not allow it. I assaulted the underworld and claimed the great water dragon. And neither the treachery of my siblings nor my failing body could stop me. I am no longer a slave to time's decay. My actions have brought the Empire great strength and its Emperor endless power. Who among you would dare challenge my right to rule? Me. Stop right there. You've committed crimes against Jade Empire and her people, what say you in your defense? That's Shit. Right. <laughs> Brother Lee hid the amulet in plain sight and acted as his own diversion, just as Death's hand diverted attention from me. The obvious threat hid the insidious one. Do you even know what you hold, child? What truly led you here? No, but I bet you want to tell me. Stop right there! <laughs> uh, I am the only, uh, I am the one who must end your evil. But who has set you on this path, and why? Do you blindly follow your master's mantra? Is anything ever so obvious? You were guided to me. What did Lee tell you? That I murdered your people and caused the restless dead? Side effects, afterthoughts. This is about power, and I will add yours to what I have stolen. Even if you are impervious to my sorcery, it changes nothing. 
I am a god. Come, student of Lee. Your quest for death is at an end. Where the fuck are you going then? Succession, please. They just keep coming, keep coming. All right, 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 all right. I got cocky there, kid. Glitching through walls. You must be the monks. My end is near, I think. Maybe not so quick. Right, anyway. Another piece of the amulet. Let's go down this list. But oh, I'll wait. Okay, so first. I wonder how many I can have now. Oh, seven. It says so down there. Might do that one. And balance. All right. Here it is. The entrance to my father's throne room. I can only...
20 years. You will. Father! Stop right there. Do you see, Princess, your father is at the heart of it all. Let's see what this one does. I am the Emperor. I am the heart of the Empire. Death's hand is a diversion. He is Death's hand. My hand. I don't blame you for that. My child. Kill the rest. They are unimportant. No! I am God, Emperor Sun. Crazy reveal, though. I rule to the free, but nature does I, not. I want respect. to end this. Let's go. Withering drought, not battle, threaten to take my throne. I know, but I would not allow it. I assaulted the underworld and claimed the great water dragon. And neither the treachery of my siblings nor my failing party could stop me. I am no longer a slave to time's decay. My actions have brought the Empire great strength and its Emperor endless power. Who among you would dare challenge my right to rule? Here, face me. That glow. It's fully powered. Brother Lee. What the Walk away. And then I like teleport back here to the middle. Uh Did I say that one? No. That's the one. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone get closer. Everyone get closer to me. Get out of my way, humans. Get out of my way, humans. You call yourself a god? I'm a fucking god. I've lived longer than most people on this planet. You dare. I love making people paralyzed. It's great. Paralyzing 
bunch of free hits from you guys and your my team's down. You lack focus. That isn't. Oh, I don't have it up. Fine. I will do white demon form later. Fuck your base. Oh, no. You do put traps in them. Get up! So I must defeat him on my own then? I move faster on my own. I wanted to redo this. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, we get it. Uh, it's so far over here. Cancel. White demon. There. Done. Exit. That was just in here. I swear I could do this from the controller before. Say. There we go. That. <laughs> this is it. All right. This isn't going to be easy. What is this? Weaklings, all of you! Your defiance grows tiresome, student of the E. You must learn your place in the order of things. No. I don't have to take orders from you. Stop running! Do I fight Death's hand here? Ugh. You will go down. Get. Move further like the guys before. So I know what's going on there. White demon form sucks. She just jaunts over there. Hey, what's up, Emperor dude? Let's let's kill you. Is 
So how you do it? So I'm afraid for. Get over here. No. Who is doing that? Stop. Get out of there. Focus it is. Rings of power acquired. See you. No, oh, fuck off. Thousand silver. Warrior of the infinite spirit. Of course it's a trap. But did I get all the codex entries? I feel like this is the end. Hopefully you like my white demon form. Alright, fine. You want to let me kick your jars? I won't kick your jars. To fight? No. Tough fight. I don't want to do it again. This better be it. Fools! Can you not dispose of one defiant peasant? Very well. I will face you myself. No matter your destiny, you will fall here today. Paralyzing palm. Leaping tight. 
paralyzed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. This cannot be. I am Emperor's son. I am a god. Paralyzing Paul. You are about to die. No, no. We've done it! Where's this death's hand guy? Spirits. Spirit shard. Can you believe it? I'm so sorry. You have made me proud. Everything has gone as it should. Thank you, Master. I have learned much. I can see that, my student. Your abilities have grown immensely, but it also does my heart good to see that you have remembered the basics of what I taught, even the flaws. Master Light, stop. What the fuck? Death has come to you, but life can be regained. I will guide you through madness to the light. Follow the pillar of light. Chapter 5. Wherein the Water Dragon intervenes, true history is revealed, and the Spirit Monk legacy is reclaimed. The defeat of Emperor Sun Hai was supposed to set things right, but with one careful blow, Master Li left you crumpled on the floor, a pawn in his carefully plotted revenge. The Spirit Realm stretches before you, but a beacon in the distance calls. You are not yet lost to the living. What in the actual fuck? Oh yeah, you fucking... Your master betrayed you. As he once betrayed his brother. Why the I fuck did he do that? Why? What did I do to you? Oh, 
I don't know why, but I just felt like most of this game I spent it fighting alone. He trained you to fight a tyrant, but with a flaw. He wanted you vulnerable in your moment of triumph. Look, I was going to give him the throne anyway. It's not like I wanted it. I will show you! The dragon amulet is in his hands, reassembled. He will consume my power, but all is not lost. Seek my light. Nice, carefully timed dodges I have. All the better to beat you with. Get me out of here. I don't. If your master claims the throne and my power. He will rule as a god unless he is stopped. I don't like being betrayed. Get out of my way, Marauder Shields. Let me get to that Skybeam. You have done I look well, pretty sick with white hair. But your journey is far from over. Time grows short and we must act quickly if we are to stop your Master Lee. What's going on here? Your Master... Sun Li, the glorious strategist, betrayed you. No shit. He killed you to claim the power of the Emperor, my power, as his own. You are dead. I am the Water Dragon, immortal guardian of the path to the underworld. I shepherd the dead, leading them to my holy temple in Dirge, the gateway to the afterlife. But 20 years ago, the Emperor and his brothers attacked Dirge. They burned my temple, slew my servants, and defiled my body so the Emperor could claim my power. When Emperor Sun Hai fell, I reclaimed some of my power, enough to call your spirit here. But now I am fading once more. Sun Li consumes my energy. Why would Master Li betray me? Your former master has long desired power to impose his will on the Empire. His plan took years to form, but the prize was too grand to let go to waste on his brother's madness. He consumes my essence to become a god, but he does not yet fully control his power. That is why I could bring you here, and why we can speak now. Ah! Oh. No! We need to stop Mr. him now. Thwains. We must act quickly. For you to fulfill your destiny, I must send you to Dirge now, while Sun Li struggles to control his newfound power. Uh, you're sending me to dirge? Why me? I still don't understand why I'm what I'm supposed to do. If he planned all this, his lies have spanned years. And I don't believe any of this. Master Lee saved me and raised me as his own. The glorious strategist knows patience. Lee has planned this for 20 years. When dirge fell, he rescued you only because he believed you were a tool he could use. You will learn this and more, but we must move quickly. When he discovers what I have done, he will try to seal this realm and prevent me from sending you to Dirge. You're sending me to Dirge? Why? 
My temple at Dirge is defiled. I do not have the power to restore you to life. But I can send your spirit to Dirge, so you may cleanse the taint corrupting my holy sanctum. Ah! Hurry! If you restore the fountains of Dirge, I can restore you to life. If you do not, Master Lee will become unstoppable. Seek out Abbot Song. He will help you. Restore the fountains of dirge. Restore my... Restore my power, and I will speak to you again. All this time. All this time. This looks unnatural. But all this time. Some pretty shocking things in this uh, series here. Well, head butt that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and comment down below about this episode. Did, were you expecting any, any of that? Uh, the Emperor is dead. Well, especially now, but he was possessed by uh, Emperor from before him. So, and then Master Lee betrayed me for power oh, oh what do we do now I guess join me in episode 22 next week and we'll see just how far away from this conclusion we are man this is a great game but right now I'm heartbroken torn I don't like being betrayed. Well, humans, this has been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.